OK, welcome uh, to our 2022 Sharing Our Voices event. Grand Erie, we are the water. Uh, we've done this event for a few years now to celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, the first one, I believe, uh, was around 2018. Um, it sprung from uh, uh, an event that the National Center for Truth and Reconciliation did um, called Imagine a Canada. And um, our team back then decided to put on an event um, to go along with that, sharing our voices, and it was such a uh, success. Um, our team decided to keep doing it every year, the day before uh, National Indig Indigenous Peoples Day. So um, last year we did it virtually. In 2020, we didn't do it, um, and it worked out pretty good last year uh, virtually. So uh, our team decided, you know what, we're going to do it again this year, and uh, I'm very glad we did. Um, if you look at our agenda, our agenda has been changed slightly today. Um, we've had a few regrets at the last second, unfortunately. Um, our welcome and opening from Leroy Jock Hill, our hereditary sub chief from the Q Nation, um, is unable to make it uh, today. Um, so I'll be doing it. Um, I'll be saying in a, an Ojibwe prayer. Miigwech Gijimanido. Kin Kina Gegu Ga Jitoyan. Miigwech Mesho Mesgizis. Gibwashwe. Jinyan Nogum, Miguech Nokumis Dibigizis, Kipuashe Yen Jinyan Nadibigag, Miguech Pokamekwe, Gimijian, Pibatswin, Gimijian Mijim, Gimijian Nibish, Gimijian Wesenyag, Minwa, Gimijian Neswin, Miguech Gijimanido. So basically what he said is I'm thanking the creator for the sun, the moon, um, and all that Mother Earth um, is giving us, uh, our food and the water and the animals. And we're thanking our creator for that. And we always start off our events with a, an opening uh, to bring us together. And then we will be finishing off with a, with a closing to kind of uh, give us that good frame of mind to leave this meeting. Uh, Susie, Andrew, and I are very... Uh, excited about bringing this together. I know uh, Susie and Andrea, in, in particular Susie um, uh, and Andrea Hislip, have been very uh, working hard with our elementary school teachers to to bring us uh, the different um, presentations we've seen today. Um, so before we go further, I'd like to ask our uh, chair of the Board of Trustees, uh, Susan Gibson, to give our land acknowledgement. Thank you so much. So the Grand Dairy District School Board recognizes Six Nations of the Grand River and Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations as the long-standing people of this territory. We honor, recognize, and respect these communities as well as all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples who reside within the Grand Dairy District School Board. We are all stewards of these lands and waters where we now gather to learn and play and commit to working together in the spirit of reconciliation. Thank you. Great. Thank you much, Susan. Now, um, Susie has shared with me that we've had uh, some classes who are uh, kind of working on their own uh, versions of land acknowledgement. So I'd like to ask Susie to, uh, to comment on our next few um, presentations before I show them to you. Sego, Scano, Ani, hello. <laughs> I'm Susie Miller. I'm the Indigenous Support and Engagement Teacher with Grand Erie, and uh, I'm very happy to be here again with Sharing Our Voices. You are absolutely going to hear the voices of children, students from Grand Erie. Uh, it's very exciting, and we, we wanted to stay with the theme of We Are the Water, Grand Erie, you know, connecting the children to to the name of our board and the importance of the water. So we have found that some teachers, they listen to the land acknowledgement, but they wanted to make some more personal connections to the words. So <clears throat> we have um, two presentations um, from personalized land acknowledgements from Miss Jones class at Centennial Grand Woodlands and um, Julie O'Neill's class from Agnes Hodge. So thank you, Joe, for letting me introduce these lovely personalized land acknowledgements. 
Great. OK, so I'll show you those two right now. And what do I have to remember to do, Susie? Turn on the sound. Turn on the sound, please. <laughs> <laughs> And here is Miss Jones's class, grade ones and twos from Centennial Grand Woodlands. I am outside I on the land. I am outside on the land. As I look around, I am grateful for water. I am grateful for water. This land, this land has been inhabited by indigenous people. People. Since time immemorial, Since time immemorial. Who, walks who walks this land I stand on, I can work toward reconciliation. I will keep learning and take care of the land we share. I am outside on the. Sorry about that. Wrong button. And now here's Miss O'Neill's class from Agnes Hodge, JKSK, with their uh, classroom blessing. Calling in our grateful hearts. Calling in our grateful hearts. We give thanks for the beauty of flowers. We give thanks for the beauty of flowers. The tender green grass. The wisdom of the trees. The freshness of water. The life giving air that we breathe. And for the Holy Mother herself. Planet Earth. We appreciate and love all people. We appreciate and love all people. Our family. Our family. Our friends. Our friends. Our classmates. Our classmates. And teachers. And our teachers. We give thanks to our bodies. We give thanks to our bodies. For all the work they do, for all the work they do, to learn, to, learn, to, heal, to heal, and grow, and grow. For all this and more, for all this and more, we are grateful. We are grateful. I love those two openings. Love the way the kids are contributing to the land acknowledgement and the classroom blessing. It's very, very great way to start uh, today's uh, today's event. Um, so now I'd like to uh, call on a few of our uh, guests to to bring greetings. Um, I don't think uh, Director Roberto's with us, so I'll call on uh, uh, Susan Gibson again to bring greetings, uh, Representative Board of Trustees. Thank you so much. And I really appreciated Joe hearing the history of this event and seeing the students. What a great way to start an afternoon. So today I'm really pleased to bring greetings from the Grand Erie District School Board Board of Trustees. It looks like a wonderful event and a wonderful way to celebrate water that gives us life. And as we learn and live and play along the Grand River, as I go on my bike rides this week, I will absolutely be thinking of this event. And I'm happy to welcome the students from Six Nations of the Grand River, Mississaugas of the Credit and Grand Erie District School Board today. And I apologize, I am working this afternoon, so I can't stay, but I'm really, un it's unfortunate that I can't because I wish that I could be here with all of you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much for joining us today, Susan, and uh, bringing greetings and doing the land acknowledgement last second. Uh, Absolutely, I'm happy to do so. Take care, everyone. You too. So I'm going to check my attendance list here, and I think the next person up um, is our president of the Grand Erie Elementary Teachers Federation, our partners in this uh, event, Sean Martin. Thank you. 
So good afternoon to all the students, the teachers, and the honored guests attending today's Sharing Our Voices celebration. I'm Sean Martin. I'm a teacher, and I'm the president of our organization. I've been invited to bring greetings to you from the Grand Erie Elementary Teachers Federation. I'm very proud of all the work that my colleagues have done and continue doing, so Sharing Our Voices can take place every June. Sharing Our Voices started several years ago when a group of very creative, caring, and talented teachers decided that what was needed was a way to celebrate Indigenous voices, heritage, customs, and art. And that's exactly what this, this year's participants are going to offer us today. We get to witness, learn from, and enjoy artistic works that will showcase just a tiny fraction of the rich history, culture, and experiences of the Indigenous peoples of this land. The theme of this year's event is something that every living thing on our planet needs to survive, which is clean, plentiful water. I believe water is a living thing and holds its own spirit. And just as it is with every other natural thing in the world, it's our responsibility to honor and take care of water and appreciate everything that it gives us and gives to our home. Whenever I see polluted waters, I feel sad and I wish other people would care for water much more. Maybe you feel the same way that I do. So on behalf of the elementary teachers in Grand Erie and our entire Federation, I thank every one of the talented contributors and I thank you for being a participant today. Thank you to the teachers who brought this opportunity to students and thank you to our school board for your partnership. I'm looking forward to experiencing all the hard work of the many people who make sharing our voices the success it always is. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Sean. So I think um, with our people um, unable to attend today, that, that takes care of our, our greetings. So if, the, if they do show up uh, later on in the program, we'll definitely give them an opportunity to, to greet uh, all of you for being here today. Um, our first uh, presentation uh, after greetings um, is the Water Song. This is a, a song we, uh, we uh, created last year for last year's event. Uh, probably one of my favorite tunes of all time. Uh, so I'd like to ask Susie uh, to come back in and introduce uh, Layla. Say go again. Um, yes, we, we uh, recorded this song last year and we loved it so much that we wanted to share it again because that's kind of the cool thing is sometimes we just need to keep cycling back and bringing uh, these wonderful messages. And so with the recording of this, the water song um, with uh, Layla Stotts and her brother Logan, it was, it's, I just get the beautiful energy and spirit of the water and, and the love of the relationship by watching this, this uh, um, video. So I want to introduce Layla and you're going to, she's going to be back later for our um, finale. <laughs> so here's Layla. Sego, Scano, Leila Stats Young Yats, Anawara Niwagit, the road and Ganyat Gehaga, Niwago and Jordan, Oswego Nidawagano. Hello, my name is Leila Stats. I am Mohawk Turtle Clan from the Six Nations of the Grand River. And this song is actually really special because it doesn't exist anywhere. Um, we haven't released it. Uh, it's just kind of been, uh, you know, a little side project, but. Uh, the words of it and, you know, the the experience that goes behind the creation of this song, uh, you know, is, is very special and, you know, inspired by the youth, inspired within the classrooms uh, and creating their relationship with water. And I think that that's one of the most powerful things that I experienced as being part of this event and helping the students create their, you know, their content and, and get their songs ready is is that ongoing relationship that they are deepening with the water uh they now said to me they're like miss Stotts, uh we said hi to the grand river when we passed it and <laughs> then I, I would challenge them you know every week like to go introduce themselves to new water and go meet new water uh you know and really seeing the water as something that's alive not just a resource not just something that you know we need to survive but a living entity that we have a relationship with it hears us it feels us it sees us it knows us uh, and seeing these little ones develop that at such a young age and, you know, they're going back to water that they met and they're going and giving the water updates 
hearts. And, you know, it's just such a powerful relationship that's developing. So I'm really honored to share this with you. Uh, and like Susie said, we'll be back for a special finale for some uh, new stuff that we worked on this year. But this is from last year, and I think it's just so powerful. It, Like Susie said, sometimes we need to hear the messages uh, a couple of times before they really sink in. So I'm glad we get to share this again. Great. Thank you, Leila. And I love this song. I love this song. Include computer sound. Share screen. Okay, computer. Here we go. All right. Let's go this way. You need the sound, Joe. I don't hear it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I pushed it there. Share screen. And let's start over. Okay. You ready, Joe? I'm ready. And this is for my bloodline. All my nunchies on the front line. Keep your money in your pipeline, cause nobody in their right mind. And this is for my sisters, they're stolen and missing. And this is for my grandmother, and this is for your grandmother, hit him with the water song. 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 And this boy shot us call a day like an alarm. So wake up at a truth and take up arms. Cause more is necessary than vocabulary. Whoa, to toxic rock import. Knocking at your door. CIA, I'll see you later. Your time is coming soon. Flip the shit like Pacino on the dark day afternoon. Yo, Attica, Attica. Chuck Aiden, spring of static. And the slogan stands is bang. We bring the black light. Again, just love that song. Whenever I'm down or I'm working and I want a little pick-me-up, I always put that song on. just gets my toes tapping again. Thank you again for that song from last year. Um, next on our agenda, we have River Heights. Uh, we are the water. Uh, I think I saw Mrs. Marlott on the... Well, maybe not. thought she was there. Okay. Um, it's from Mrs. Marlott's grade one class at River Heights.
I don't think we can hear it. Clean water is important because if we drink dirty water, we will get sick. Can you hear that okay? Yep, you yeah. can now. Yeah, yeah it, was just, it was just quiet for the first little while. Clean water is important because it makes animals grow. We can protect the water to drink it and don't pass out. Water is sacred because we can drink it. We can protect the earth by feeding the fish. Water is sacred because it keeps us alive. We can protect the water by stopping the black snake. We can protect the water by not littering. Well, um, water is secret because we drink it. Water is sacred because if we didn't have it, we wouldn't survive. Clean water is important because we drink it. Water is sacred because it waters plants. Clean water is important because if we didn't have it, we would die. We can protect the water by not throwing garbage in the water. Water is secret because we can drink it. Water is sacred because it's good for you to drink. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Marlas. Grade one class, we are the water. And we'll go right into our next uh, presentation. This is a grade two, three, and three, four split. Uh, doing a song, Make a Difference. Um, and the teachers all said it's, it was led by Ms. Aldred. So uh, here's Make a Difference from Lansdowne Costain.
I love the bow at the end. It always brings a smile to my face when I see them bowing like that. So we've had art, we've had some singing, um, and now we're gonna have a, uh, some poetry uh, from Mrs. Anguish's uh, grade four class at Major B. My model is full, the clear liquid, icy cold, I take a baby cold. From clouds to puddles, from winds to streams, to rivers to oceans and back. Drip drop lightning, rain stops in the night so cold, boom goes the thunder. Raining all day long, sometimes in the days of rainbow, so many colors. Drip drop waterfall, crashing down on rocks below, flowing down the street. Fun, Fun and flowing water, beautiful blue waves, ocean splashing waterfall. In this blue water, the waves crash against the shore, many fish swimming. Lakes are shimmering, powerful, full of light. Water is so bold. Rain all day long, sometimes it can make plants grow, it keeps us alive. Powerful dark sea, shimmering sapphire waves, water needs respect. Beautiful blue waves, sun reflecting on wet rocks. Life is peaceful here. Water full of life. We all need water to live. We all need clean water. So we have to give credit to our creators of this poetry presentation and voices. Austin, Ori, Talia, Mateo, Kenna, Scarlett, Brody, Dakota, Jason, Jaden, Ari, Hope, Jessica, Brooklyn, Logan, Hayden, Natty, Ainsley, Marcel, Celeste, and Carson. And of course, Mrs. Anguish uh, for the work. Thank you very much. Uh, grade fours at Major B. So we have a few uh, slides coming up of artwork that's been uh, uh, Donate given to this uh, presentation today. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button.
The first is kind of a collage uh, created by uh, Nimki King, a grade nine student from Waterford District High School. Uh, Nimki is from the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, uh, and his uh, uh, presentation today is called what, what Water Means to Me. Um, I, I know Nimki. I've had a, the pleasure of coaching him in a few sports, um, and I haven't seen him while, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing him soon. Um, so Nimki's uh, art here looks like he has some water, washing up, washing stuff. Everybody, everybody remember to brush their teeth every day. Okay, got the toothbrush, toothpaste and toothbrushes there. Um, I'm not sure about the broccoli. I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm sure it's healthy for you. So a lot of, I'm sure some people like it. Um, uh, healthy life. And of course, the bottom right there, swimming, the best time of uh, uh, summer, especially if it's going to be hot these next few days. Uh, jumping in a nice clean lake or river, get cooled off, nice and refreshing for sure. And uh, thank you for uh, submitting this Nimki. The next piece of art was uh, uh, given by Anurit B uh, from the Grandview VLA grade six, Ms. Holgate's class. Uh, water is with us. Uh, picture of a heart of water and uh, person with the water, I guess. Um, I think Anurit actually, uh, give it a few more seconds for you to watch. Anurit um, contributed a little uh, meaning behind uh, this piece of art, Water is With Us. Uh, Anurit uh, says, the water is around us as well as above us, below us, and in us. We appreciate what it, what it has done for everyone in this world, so we celebrate this today as a thanks. And thank you for submitting this annually. Our next submissions are from Haley Gillis and Noah Schoenberg from Elgin Ave, uh, Miss Sullivan's uh, grade A class. Um, the picture to your left is from Haley, um, has the two people in the, in the bubble of water, uh, nice clean water. Uh, and on the right, uh, Noah, um, picture of a person, water is life, and it looks like everything's connected through water. So um, I really like these two pieces of art a lot. Thank you, Haley and Noah, for submitting them. And our last piece of art that was, it's a series of art uh, that was uh, contributed by Ms. Gordon's class at Walter Gretzky Gate 1. And I'm going to have to exit to do it this way because Coach Joe's technical expertise didn't, couldn't meet the challenge on this one particularly, but uh, we'll do it this way for sure. Uh, so it's entitled Turtle Island, uh, grade one from Walter Gretzky Elementary. So I'll just slide through here and you'll see some, some smiling faces and some, uh, some great pieces of art. Through various conversations and guest speakers discussing the water at Mother Earth and why it was important to everyone. The students did a lot of reflecting of why water was important. Save the water. We're using those, uh, those masks we all know so well. Save the water, I like that look on the face. Water is life. Save the water. Water is important. Save the water. I'm liking all the blue in these. Save the water. Water is nature. Protect the water. For sure. Water is important. Water is important again. I smile. Water is life.
Water helps us live. Protect the water for sure. Water is nature, water is life. And last but not least, peeking over his artwork here, water is life. Thank you very much, Ms. Gordon's class, for contributing uh, this uh, uh, those pieces of art and your smiling, happy faces. Thank you very much. And next on our agenda, We Are the Water, um, a poem by Ms. Uh, Duetta's class, SK Grade 1 from River Heights. And I believe my, my friend Susie uh, we'll be reading this as we go along. I will read as we go along. <laughs> no, I think there's I think there's five seconds for each slide, Susie, so. Be ready. Okay, okay. <laughs> so this is the introduction. Caledonia is along the Grand River. They discuss the book, We Are the Water Protectors, and we need to keep the water clean because we need the animals and fish to survive. Just a second, that's faster. The that's faster than five seconds, Susie. Just a second. I'll pause it. We need to keep the water clean because we need the animals and fish to survive. We can protect the water if we don't waste the water. Mother Earth will get sick if we don't take care of the water. We have to take care of the water because we need clean water to drink. I love the river because it looks nice. Oops, sorry. That's okay. River Heights is lucky. They get to see the water every <laughs> day. It's so beautiful there. Yeah. All right, I think it's where you at, Susie. To protect the water, we need to pick up the garbage. We need to make sure there's no garbage in the river at River Heights. We love the water. Yawa. Thank you, Susie. A lovely rendition of We're the Water. Our next presentation is from Mrs. Otterman's uh, Grade 5, 6 West, from West Lynn, uh, entitled We're From the Water. From the Water by Grade 5, 6 and Mrs. Otterman at West Lynn Public School. I am from waterfalls that tumble the rocks and clear up the pebbles below. I am from the soothing sounds of waves crashing against rocks. I am from dunking myself under spring-fed waterfalls. 
I am from following leaves and sticks as they float along the current of a stream. I am from the water. I am from approaching storms that rumble and lash across the horizon. I am from biking through pelts of rain that fall from the sky. I am from raindrops tapping on my tent as we doze in our cozy sleeping bags. I am from sweet sap running from the mighty maples in our early spring. I am from the water. I am from the strong edges of my boat slicing through waveless water on a still morning. I am from holding on to my fishing rod as we drift slowly across the surface. I am from memories of catching fish with my brother on my grandfather's boat. Park as the warm sun shines above. I am from the water. I am from running through the wet sand with my dog. I am from the difference between the hot sand and the water. I am from watching sandcastles melt into rising waves as they creep up the beach. I am from minnows splashing silver beside my wading feet. I am from the water. I am from outdoor skating on a frozen pond in the middle of winter. I am from cold water gliding between my toes and fingers as I move through the pool. I'm from spraying my brother with water guns as we bounce on the hot trampoline. I'm from unwinding in a hot tub on a starry night. I'm from the water. I'm from the windy waves splashing up against the shore as we sail on the pier. I'm from sitting on the dock waiting for the sun to rise over the lake. I'm from Niagara Falls surrounded by snow and twinkling lights. I am from sipping a sweaty glass of ice water on a hot, hazy, and humid afternoon. I am from the water. I am from Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, and Ontario. I am from the Grand, the Lynn, and all rivers and streams beyond and in between. I am from rain and snow, mist and dew. I am from the water that soothes, refreshes, cleans, and sustains. We are from the water. Above us, below us, around us, within us. Great. Thank you very much, West Lynn and Mrs. Otterman's class. Um, are there any of the teachers available who are on those if they want to make a comment right now or tell a little story behind their uh, their presentation before we move on? OK, then. Um, so our next uh, presentation is a song for the water from Mrs. White's grade three class from Emily C. General. Uh, this is done in 2020, um, so I'm going to let uh, Susie give a little uh, background description of what you're about to see. Thanks, Joe. I just wanted to share a little bit about this song. <clears throat> the song was co-written by um, classrooms from Grand Erie, Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and Six Nations. We did talking circles in classrooms with, uh, I was Logan Stotts and Rob Lamoth, and uh, so all the words that um, are in the song came from the students and <clears throat> this is uh, we recorded this last year, but this recording is the official recording that was done and then a class from Emily C. General, grade three, Mrs. White's class created the video and they um, they picked all the pictures to go with the song and then after they finished they invited Rob and Logan into the classroom to show them the video and uh, they were very moved by the students um, interpretations of their song so enjoy this beautiful song. Thank you Susie. I didn't hit the sound. There we Sorry, go. Sorry, Joe. I <laughs> forgot to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> 
two years, I should be remembering it now. Sorry for the trouble Everything I left behind This messed up world We're running out of time The weight is on your shoulder And you better save your stay This ain't a battle cry more like a war You should go right on It opens up a door The weight is on your shoulder And you better save yourself We are the war And we are the shore we are the call. We are the storm. The wind of the weather. And we are the hurricane. My sons and my daughters. We are the water. Welcome to tomorrow. No time to wait. Blood and sweat and tears. I know we made mistakes. Every drop of this river is another good, good day. We are the war, and we are the shore. We are the we are the storm. We know the weather. We are the hurricane. My sons and my daughters. We are the water. My sons and my daughters. We are the water. And my heart sings. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. And my turn sings. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. And my tree sings. Whoa, oh, oh, oh.
Mother's father We are the water The best part of that video always when I see it is when that turtle looks like it's swimming right at me. It just always, it always surprises me when I see that turtle come up. Uh, so thank you very much, Emily C. General, for, for putting that video together uh, to go along with the song. Um, so we're coming up to the highlight, the finale of our presentation today. Um, if I can ask uh, Layla and Susie and Mr. Wren uh, to come on screen and uh, speak to uh, the song that's coming up to, to close our show today. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Rebecca Duran. I teach grade two at Walter Gretzky. And uh, this, this project kind of started in September with our work with Mrs. Miller and Mrs. Stats learning about the water. And one of the best things that kind of came from this was learning the language. So my, my students love the water. They they save the water out of their baggies. Like if they have a, an ice pack and they water the plants with it, like they, they know that water is precious. And so we started building our relationship with the water with our local pond and saying hi to the Grand River when we see her. Um, and I think it's really valuable work for all students. It's been very important for my non-Indigenous students to learn the language of this land um, as a settler myself and who you are. Yeah, I have a friend with me today. She's gonna stay off camera, but you might hear her voice. Um, but it's it's really, it was imperative for my indigenous students to learn their language from Susie and from Layla. So that has been probably the most impactful part of this work. So we learned how to sing the Mohawk water song in Mohawk. And at first we thought we were just gonna have them say the mm -hmm part of the song, but they ended up learning the whole entire word. And they remember like Onega means water and let's go say Ona Onega, like they wanna thank the water. So it's just been wonderful. Um, the other thing that's been so powerful is the empowerment that my indigenous students have felt. And uh, I have a little friend here who's gonna share something that she wrote last week. She's a little nervous. Okay, come here. So she's gonna try to really say her loud voice and say something that she wrote in her writing. Yeah, say now. Hi. Oh, she brought her deer today. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. Hi. No? Okay, say your voice, good. Can Read you? what it said. No, we can't see you, go. Indigenous. Indigenous, that's who I am. I take care of Mother Earth. We are teachers of this land. We were here first on Turtle Island. That's who we are. Awesome. <laughs> so I think that there's nothing more powerful than her feeling so empowered about who she is and what her identity is and what her purpose is in life. So without further ado, here's our video. <laughs> oh, that's great. So your Layla, would, would you like to add anything before we show? Uh, I just want to say how proud I am of all of these kids. Uh, like, honestly, when I first went into the classroom, I didn't, I didn't expect them to learn all of the words. Uh, you know, I, I, it took me a while to learn all of the words. Learning the language has been a, a long journey. And, uh, you know, it was just so amazing to see their connection to the water, to see how their spirits opened up when we were beside the water, singing for the water. Um, you know, they really, I really felt like they, they felt like they were giving back to the water. And that's exactly what they've been doing is, is giving back and, uh, you know, putting that energy out there. So I just want to say, Nyawa, I'm so proud of all of you guys. Uh, and I, this is just a great finale to uh, a really beautiful event. So Nyawa. Yes, Layla. I just have water coming from my eyes. So I know. <laughs> yeah, so Surprise. <laughs> yeah, I never cry. <laughs> so I hope everyone enjoys this last recording. Okay, here we go. Uh, remember to put the sound on right away. There we go. Click, share, play, stop, escape, escape. So today is a special day for many reasons. Number one, we're doing a special recording. Number two, apparently, 
is the beginning of Indigenous Awareness Month. But you know what Mrs. Miller says? It's not just a day. It's a, it's a way. way. We don't just think about <clears throat> the Indigenous ways on one, during one month or one day. We don't just give thanks on a certain day. We don't just give love and share love on a certain day. These are things that we do every day. Every day is a day to honor every child. Every day is a day to give thanks. Every day is a day to honor the water. When we speak, what we say, it matters. And we learn from each other. And we all make mistakes. And we learn from each other. And we help each other. That's the way it is. I've come to understand the natural law is about helping each other to be well. And yet, it's not just the people, right? It's the people in relationship to all life. And so we're gathering together today to share our voices for the water. Because the water is above us. The water is below us. The water is around us. And the water is within us. And we're going to share this beautiful time together and honor the water. What are some things that we can do right now, right now to protect the water? Mm -hmm. Not wasting the water, keeping it clean, making sure what we put down the drain, right? Everything that we put down the drain goes back into our water. So we have to be conscious when we're putting things down the sink, putting things down the drains. You guys, one day, you guys are going to be building the future towns. You're going to be building cities. You're going to be uh, starting companies. You're going to be running this world. So if we can help you to understand that the water is alive now, then when you guys grow up, you will do your part to protect it. And you'll take that personal responsibility because the only people that we can be responsible for is us, right? Right. We can't change, we can't always change what other people do, but we can change us. And you guys have a very important role because people will listen to you more than they sometimes listen to grown-ups. And when the children are saying that we have to protect the water, then I hope the grown-ups will listen more, right? So I'm, I'm counting on you guys to be the voice. So who's ready to sing the water song? Yeah? This song is in Mohawk, and the words kind of translate to uh, we love the water. Do you, does anyone remember how, what the word is for water? Yeah? Onega. Onega. That's right. Yeah. So we say yunga nalungwa, which means we love, and onega, the water.
sure they thought that's beautiful. <laughs> I'll bet you they thought that's beautiful. Singing to the water. How amazing is that? <laughs> no, my favorite part's the part after the song. Singing to the water. That's amazing. Oh man, I love that. Great job. Excellent job, Walter Gretzky. Um, great way to finish up our presentation for today. Um, before we uh, we close, though, um, I'd like to give thanks to a few people. Uh, first of all, our IT guy, Jesse Hurdle, who arranged a connection to our YouTube channel so people can watch this uh, for years and years and years to come after this, I'm sure. Uh, thank you very much for your help, Jesse. Uh, secondly, uh, I'd like to thank our uh, elementary engagement support teachers, Susie Miller and Andrea Heslop, uh, for all the support uh, they've given to our elementary uh, classes uh, and putting together a lot of these uh, presentations today. Um, and hopefully, all the and one thing I noticed about this year's presentations, a lot of younger classes like grade ones, twos, SKs, JKs. Um, so hopefully, they just keep going in the future. Uh, next year's event, I'm sure we'll be doing this again. Uh, and hopefully all these classes can can uh, bring a submission into our event again. So thank you very much. And second year in a row, uh, Leila Stotts for uh, showing up. And I, I think last year, I, I don't remember clearly, but I think Leila almost acted like a co-host last year. She's so involved. Um, and uh, thank you again for uh, for joining us again today, Leila, and contributing to our, to our event. And uh, finally, uh, to all our teachers and students, uh, for their submissions, uh, for taking the time, uh, something that's important as we are the water, uh, Grand Erie. Uh, I like the little addition we made to it this year, but uh, thank you to to all our, our staff and students for uh, putting together um, these great submissions to our, to our event this year. Um, so before I close, I'd like to call on um, Susie, if she'd like to say anything before we uh, we close. I just want to say Nyawa Joe for all the wonderful work you did. You uh, brought it all together once again and presented it in the best way ever. So thank you very much for bringing our work together and presenting it in such a lovely way. Oh. It's a team effort, that's for sure. Oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. for sure. I'm just I'm this for this thing. I'm just a tech guy. I can't believe I'm saying that, but I'm the tech guy for this. All the all the work uh, was done prior to this, so. Uh, I'm just glad it came together so nicely. Yeah, and I'm so proud of all the students and the teachers and all the efforts they put in to, to put this work together. And some of them, you know, they just had to pull it together at the last minute, though. It's just, you know, the daily life in the classroom is, um, it is what it is. <laughs> and uh, so they, they did it. They pulled it through. And uh, I want to thank the teachers and the students so much. This is a definite example of student voice. Exactly. Thanks, Susie. Thank you. And one last chance for any teachers on the call here, uh, if they'd like to to say any parting words before we close. Actually, Joe, maybe maybe you and Robin can do the closing words together. Or, you know, okay. Yeah, it'd be nice uh, to have Robin join us. Okay, uh, Robin, um, you could do yours and then, then I'll do mine. Okay, so before we do close again, thank you to Susie and um, Joe for all of their work in putting this together. It's beautiful to see everybody come together and share the importance of the waters because um, as as mentioned, it is it is our job as people living on this planet and living on Mother Earth to be taking care of everything. And water is a sustainer of life. So I hope that that message rings loud and true for everybody who's been on the call today. So I'm just going to begin a closing. Usually when we have a traditional um, message or gathering or a coming together of good minds, we would open it with um, what we call Ohando Gali Adekwa, which is the Mohawk word for the words that come before all else. And we would also end the day with the words um, 
that should conclude a meeting. So I'm going to do mine in Mohawk and then Joe's going to do his in um, Ojibwe. Nyawa Sungwaya Diso, Nyawa Skano Wega Nizere, Nyawa Sungwaya Diso, Aguego Nahoda Squawi, Nyawa Sungwaya Diso. Thank you, Great Spirit, for peacefully concluding this day. We wish good tidings to everybody on their travels as they reach home. Thank you, Great Spirit, for this day. And I'm going to pass it over to Joe, who's going to end with uh, Ojibwe words. Great. Miigwech, Robin. Um, the way I like to close our meetings is through a term uh, in Ojibwe called Mino Birmatsuin, uh, meaning good life. Um, so what we've learned here today, what we've seen today, we're going to take forward uh, in a good way. We're going to share this with our classmates, our colleagues, uh, having that good mind, uh, using using all the information we've gathered in a good way in our classrooms and in our lives and taking it home as well and, and, and try and be try to live a good life in, in the Anishinaabe uh, way. So with that, um, have a good afternoon, everybody. And we'll uh, we'll see you same time next year. Bye, my pee. Onagi wahi. <laughs>